Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. This time it's about ClickUp, an amazing project management tool. Over the years I've tested dozens of tools, but ClickUp with its robust structure, flexibility and customization stands out on top. Also, its integrations with other tools, automation features and AI implementation streamline workflows and save time for project and task management. Today you'll learn the basics of ClickUp and to do so it's important to start with its hierarchy structure. So, without further ado, let's get into it. And let's start from the workspace. The workspace is the highest level in the hierarchy and typically represents the entire organization. Your first workspace is automatically created during your ClickUp registration process. Under the workspace, there are spaces. They are subdivisions within a workspace that can represent different departments or teams. For example, let's say we want to create a space for our service delivery. To create a space, click on the plus icon here, assign it a name, select an icon, and click continue. You can either start with a pre-configured solution or from scratch. I personally prefer to start from scratch and customize my spaces. I usually choose to maintain only the list view as the default and create other views later if needed. Then, you can customize the task statuses according to your needs. However, I suggest you leave the default ones especially at the space level. I usually use custom fields to manage task statuses and we'll cover this in more detail later. Lastly, we have click apps. Think of them as additional features you can use within your space. You can simply turn them all on initially and they will be available for use anytime. However, for best practices, keep your workspace organized. If you don't need specific clickups within a space, turn them off. You can enable them later. I will make a dedicated video about clickups, but for now, let's say I don't need the multiple assignee feature since I won't assign a task to more than one person. And we finally can hit on create space. Inside the space, we can create multiple folders, which are ideal for grouping multiple lists. This helps organize related projects. Continuing with our service delivery example, we can create a folder for each client. To create a folder, click on the plus icon next to the space name and then click on folder. You can choose to either use the task statuses set at space level or customize them. If customized, the lists within this folder will use the new statuses instead of the default space level statuses. But again, just leave them as default, I will explain why soon, I promise. Now it's the turn of the list. Within folders, lists contain the actual tasks. Each list can hold up to 100,000 tasks, allowing for extensive project management. Whenever you create a folder, it automatically includes a list. To create a new list within a folder, as you can imagine, click on the plus icon next to the folder, list, name it, and click create list. Now, the core element at the bottom of the ClickUp hierarchy is the task. Tasks are created within lists and represent individual actions or items that need to be completed. Tasks can also be broken down into subtasks, allowing for more detailed tracking of specific actions related to the main task. ClickUp allows you to add up to seven levels of hierarchy to your subtasks, but whenever it's possible, I personally suggest using only the first level or the first two levels at most. If you need to keep track of other steps, you can easily do that using checklists found inside each task. Just as an example, let's create another list. Now, 
and a new folder with another list. Let's change some statuses. For example, let's say we completed the first task. Now, you don't see completed tasks by default, but you can easily show them by clicking on Show Closed. You can choose to see both completed tasks and subtasks. Next, set Task 2 as in progress, the first subtask as completed, and the second subtask as in progress. If you want to change the order you see the tasks, you can click on Group By and choose your preference. For example, if you want to see the tasks grouped by status, but in a different order, from to do to complete, you just need to change the order from ascending to descending. Now, since we are talking about task statuses, it's time to explain why I prefer to keep the task statuses simple, as to do in progress and complete. The main reason is that the same set of statuses are applied not only to tasks, but also extend to their subtasks. This means if you create a variety of statuses for specific tasks contained within a list, it's important to note that these same statuses will automatically be used for any associated subtasks as well. But typically, the default statuses are more than enough for subtasks. Additionally, using a custom field to track statuses can be useful if you plan to create automations on platforms like Make.com or Zapier. Having more fields available for use is always beneficial. And about this, I will start publishing videos about automation soon, so stay tuned. So, to create a field, you can simply click on the plus icon located here on the right. And as you can see, you can choose between different field types. In this case, I choose a drop down field and call it service stage. Under the options section, I write all the stages I want. A common structure could be onboarding, project execution, project closure, handoff, and follow up. You can also change the color for each of them. Now, let me add at least one task for each stage. In this case, I use random names for tasks, but if you have a defined workflow, you can already insert the tasks you need and also create a template ready to be used every time you create a new project for a client. For example, in the onboarding stage, you can have a task named Send Onboarding Questionnaire and another Create the Client Project Dashboard. Under project execution, you can have a task for system development, another one for system implementation, and maybe a third one for training and support. And you can also create different subtasks as I showed you earlier. Anyway, I will publish another video where I build a functional workspace from scratch. Now that we have our stages, I don't want to use the task status to group my tasks. I want to use the service stage field. So click on group by and select the service stage. Now you have a list with all the tasks organized by stage, and you can use the simple to do in progress and complete statuses to keep track of each task's progress. We are almost at the end of this introductory video about ClickUp, so why did I want to start mainly from the hierarchy structure? Organizing your workspace in a project management app from the beginning is crucial, because it will allow you to create different views at different levels of the hierarchy to visualize progress reports, and much more. We spent most of the time inside the list, but what if there is more than one project assigned to a client? Well, having a folder for each client allows you to have an overview of that client by clicking on the folder instead of each list inside it. And what if you want to have an overview of all your clients? You can simply click on the space instead of each client folder. Obviously, at the everything level, you can have a complete overview of every space, folder and task inside your workspace. These overviews are really powerful and you can customize each of them to follow your business's specific needs. 
And that's a wrap. This ClickUp introductory video was meant to give you a basic understanding of its structure, because I believe this is the first concept people should learn. But this is just the tip of the iceberg. We still have many features to discover like different views, dashboards, automations, integrations and much more. So subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and ring the notification bell so you'll never miss any of my future videos. Remember, you can follow me on X and Mastodon and you can also join my Discord server and subscribe to my bi-weekly newsletter for more content about productivity, knowledge management and note taking. I will leave all the links in the description down below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below which software you are using for your project and task management. And if you ever tried ClickUp. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. In the meantime, stay productive.